Let's get outside to my main man, Larry Sprinkle. What are you doing, buddy? Good morning to you. Yes, we are here at the Harris Teeter, right at the Arboretum, Highway 51 and Providence Road. Scouting for food. This is the big day. It's the kickoff. And uh, what we're trying to do is help families in need right here in this community. Last year, 80, over 80,000 people were fed with the help of Scouting for Food. And right over here, some of our scouts, and remember, scouts come in all ages. A lot of folks like me started out and stay a scout always. Let's find out who we have right here. Hi, Larry. I'm Bill Calvis, and I help with Scouting for Food. Big Bill. All right. Tim Morgan, I'm the chairman for the Scouting for Food effort. Thank you, Tim. Rob Seat, uh, Apache District Commissioner, one of the advisors of our Coral Tan Lodge. And right here, obviously. Bo. I'm Bo Seat, um, the Lodge Chief for Catawba Lodge 459. I'm one of the youth in charge for Scouting for Food and this we year. We appreciate what you guys do. 5,000 folks out there. How would you encourage people to help out today? Uh, go to a Harris Teeter, buy food. Leave it on your front porch. We'll have a, about 5,000 scouts out in Mecklenburg County today uh, between about 9 a.m. and uh, 1, 1 p.m. Uh, picking up in neighborhoods. Yeah, we appreciate that. You heard Chris talking about the weather. Not too bad at all today. Here's what we're talking about. Canned fruit, canned meat. We're talking about soup. We're talking about cereal. Uh, anything that's in your pantry. I brought, uh, filled a bag. I'm going to have to bring it in. Of what was in the pantry. And, you know, we're talking about what Bill said. He spent about $10.85 and filled up that scouting for food bag right there. If you think about it, this is a family, maybe there was a medical crisis. And it's pay the medical bill or pay for the food. So they pay the medical bill and there's the money for food. And that's what this is all about. One weeks of food for a family in crisis. And when you think how simple it is to help out, leave that on your doorstep, 9 a.m. The scouts will do all the work for you. They'll come and pick it up, load it up, and bring it over here to the Arboretum. We'll be outside coming up a little bit later, but WCNC Charlotte has been involved this uh, this project for over 25 years. And, and it's, it's our our mandate that we reach out and let uh, people know that we encourage you to help this community do that today. Very simple by, uh, you know, by one for yourself and one for that family, and you can definitely help out. We'll be here throughout the day. A lot of folks from WCNC Charlotte will be here a little bit later this morning helping out unloading their trucks, and we invite you to come down, say hello, and uh, do a little shopping, and maybe we'll uh, share one of these, uh, one of these right here. Uh, looks pretty good. Back with more news and weather coming up after the break.